welcome to my channel. You're in for quite a treat today if you love organization and decluttering and wardrobe cleaning. You're in for a treat because today I plan on doing a major massive overhaul of my closet. As you can see here, it's getting to be a lot. I can't keep up with laundry. I feel like I have to clean up my clothes every few days because I just I get so annoyed with having to stuff them in there. I even have a dresser in my bathroom I need to go through. I just came back from a trip. It is the perfect time to do this because I already have like a lot of clothes out in my luggage and it needs to be gone through anyway. If you find this video entertaining, please do me a favor and like, comment, and subscribe wherever you can because it tells that YouTube algorithm that I'm putting good content on the internet and I want to make sure I'm making good stuff for y'all. I'm already overwhelmed just looking at it. Last year in 2022, my New Year's resolution was to not buy any new clothes. I could only thrift them or make them and I did a really good job. And if you want to watch that video where I discussed what I learned and how that year went, I will link that video in the top right. Long story short, I discussed in there how I was thrift shopping out of boredom. I don't need all this stuff. I'm a little 32 year old lady living in the suburbs. I don't go anywhere. The most I go out is to go to the gym or to get coffee. That's it. <laughs> I want to reduce this by like, honestly like 50%. I know I'm going to have a difficult time because I like to sew a lot and I like to tailor and alter things to fit me better. This is an example of something that was like a huge massive shirt and I tailored it to fit me. I like to do that a lot so sometimes I see things and I'm like, mm, what can I do with that to make it work for me when really I just don't need it. Even if I don't wear a lot of the stuff I made completely from scratch, I'm not talking about alterations, completely from scratch, I do want to keep those just for like nostalgia's sake, for looking back on what I've learned and my journey with sewing, I will keep all of those. Without further ado, we need to get started because it's gonna be a lot. I'm actually going to scooch my laundry aside and my luggage aside because I know I have recently worn those, they get used. So I need to like dig into the corners of my closet and start there because those are the things I haven't worn lately. Where's that deodorant? I'm gonna need it. Here we go. I have two pairs of literally identical high-waisted twill khaki pants. I only need one. These are too big, they're men's. I thought I would take them in, I haven't yet. Go away. Thought I would wear these a lot. I have plenty of high-waisted pants. Navy blue also is just really hard for me to style. I don't know why, it just is. Bye. Thought I would wear these, never did. These I like. I think I might legitimately alter these to be shorts. I have been wanting some light colored linen shorts for summer. I will alter these. I will have time for that. I will do it. So a different pile for altering. I never wear these. But I could also use them for... Why am I doing this? I was gonna say I could use them for like dirty jobs around the house, but I already have plenty of stuff to do that. I also don't like joggers that much. I don't think they're flattering on me, so get rid of them. But yeah, see, here's those other identical pair of khakis. I will keep these. This could have had the potential to be cute. I hemmed it way too short, therefore I never wear it. Bye. Okay, this is completely stupid. For some reason, can't get rid of these and I literally never wear them. Like when I got my first job out of college, this was like the first nice thing I bought myself. I'm gonna reward, reward myself. I got like a really good job. For that reason, like I have nostalgia associated with this skirt or a sentimental feeling, I mean and it's hard for me to get rid of. It's cheap feeling polyester. I know a lot more about fabric now and I don't like polyester. Do you remember all those Pinterest photos like five years ago with these skirts and like the knotted graphic tee and white sneakers? That's what I was going for. I'll put it in an I don't know pile. This had its moment. I've gotten compliments on this a lot. I lost a little weight recently, so it needs to be taken in, but honestly, I just don't want to do that. It's going to be a lot of work. I think I will let somebody else enjoy this. So, goodbye. I thought I would wear this because I was into dark academia for a second. I don't ever wear it. Same with this. Never wear it. Hello, I'm sitting here doubting myself. Would I wear it? Let's try it on. Okay, I kind of like this one actually. I'll keep this one. The other one I'll get rid of. This again, I thought I was into academia core for a second. It had potential. This is cotton. It's all cotton. I'm going to be sad. Oh, they cut it off. I don't even know what it's made of. I'm going to let it go. What do I do with this? 
I like that it's like a classic style. It's easy to style, but it's looking a little worn out. Oh. Okay, see, what do I do? I don't think I like this one. Yeah, I'll get rid of it. I'll keep this one. Kinda like the looser, more casual fit. I thought I was gonna try color for a second. This is not my color. It's a fun color, but it's not my color. But this is cute, but I only like keep it for work and it's looking a little raggedy. I'm not gonna have a formal job. It's not even nice enough for a formal job. So, bye. Cute, right? This is totally my style. Is this linen? Linen shirt, that's nice. But also, it's made terribly. And I'm looking at this now and I'm seeing major flaws. Do you see how it kind of hangs crooked? Have you ever tried on a shirt and it like twists when you wear it? That means the manufacturer didn't cut the fabric right. It will forever twist on you when you wear it. This shirt does that. It could have had its moment, but we're gonna let it go. Do I need two gray vests? This one I like because it fits me like, you know what? I'm just realizing I don't like it because the armholes are really low. I'm gonna let this one go. Love this shirt. This is perfect for me. Cotton, casual colors, loose fit, can knot it, can tuck it into high-waisted stuff. Is this not the cutest shirt you've ever seen? I made it, you guys. I made it from a vintage pattern and I wanna wear it much more, but the closure's on the back, the buttons. Why didn't I think that would be a problem? It is so cute though. So I'm gonna keep it like I said, I just want to keep things I've made just to learn from it, but if you sew by any chance and you're about to make a shirt with a back cl button closure, don't do it. I'm gonna put her aside for now and figure out where to put her so she's not like taking up valuable space. She. <laughs> Cute, love, very vintage-y looking. This looks very Zoe Deschanel, doesn't it? This, yeah, I think I like it. Linen, I love linen. We'll keep both of those. Okay, I bought two of these because I thought I was obsessed, but I don't wear them much. So which one do I keep? Or do I get rid of them both? Which colors are better? I think I like the orange better on me, actually. I'll put them in the I don't know. Here's my piles. That is not sure. That's my sewing stuff I don't want to get rid of. That is get rid of. We're doing really good. just bought this for a wedding. I did not think it would be this like neon highlighter pink. I think I'm gonna try to sell it. It's only been worn once. Look at this pretty silk dress. I got it on ThreadUp. Is it not beautiful? Look at that. Stunning. Another black vintage dress. How many do I need? I made a little patch um, over a hole. I thought it was cute that it was contrasting. In fact, it made somebody come up to me specifically for this. They were like, you're really artistic, aren't you? I can tell just by that. And I was like, yeah, I am. <laughs> this half from here on was like stuffed. And now look at all that room I got. This is my pile of doing dirty work around the house clothes. I have plenty. judge if you see dust. I will be cleaning after this. This is so fun. This is my dedicated like Christmas vest. And I, even though I don't wear it a lot, I want to keep it. But it needs to go somewhere less taking up space. That made sense, right? I love this color blocked flannel. This was a DIY I made on my channel. If you want to see that, I'll link it in the top right. Brown cardigan. It's very old. It has seen better days, but I don't have a replacement yet. So I'll, I'll keep it. I feel like everyone needs a brown cardigan. Love this skirt, love this skirt. Green linen skirt from Madewell, love this. Um, I already went through all these, but these are winter skirts. 
I, I do wear these, so I'll keep them. Hmm. This one here is the only one I didn't wear a whole lot. I think I'll let this go. Bye-bye. Linen pants, love. Lined wool pants for winter, high-waisted vintage. I actually got them from a vintage shop. Love these, keeping. I made these. These are high-waisted red denim jeans. Detail on the pockets there, isn't that cute? Keep these I wanted to work. More lined wool vintage pants for winter but the waist is a little too big and I don't want to deal with taking it in. So I think I'm gonna let it go. Bye-bye. Pink trousers for spring, high-waisted, love these. Black high-waisted pants, classic, gotta keep those. These I'm unsure about. No, I can already tell, I don't want them. I didn't even wear them this winter. Bye. They were high-waisted polyester unlined pants. These I do wear, these are fun. These are actually low-rise. These are, I typically wear these with a chunky sweater so you can't tell they're low rise. Low rise is not my thing. Okay, do I need this many cardigans? The only ones I don't wear a whole lot are these. This one's wool, merino extra fine wool, but it's kind of scratchy, but I do really like the style. This one, I do this every time I go through my closet. This cardigan, I don't know what to do with and I never wear it, so I'm gonna get rid of it. Black cardigan, it's pilled very badly. I literally never wear it. I only justify keeping it in case I like go to an event where I need to wear all black. Bye. I'll keep this one. Love these two. Love this one. Isn't that so cute? Love this color. I will keep both of those. Do I need two gray cardigans? This one's kind of more chunkier, a thicker yarn. Oh god. I do like that this is thinner. Oh god. Neutral color, different option weights for different weather. I really don't know. I, I don't know yet. We are up to collared button ups. These are clothes from my job that just let me go. I wanna keep them because they're memories, but I, I don't need to wear them now. So we're gonna set those aside. Bless my husband's heart. I remember when I first bought this, I asked him, can you cut off the tags? And he started cutting off the label. Oh my God. More mini tank tops. Yes, I always love a mini tank top. There's a pile update. We got sell over there, uh, get rid of. These I just need to put somewhere in my closet less accessible, like uh, sewing projects in that Christmas vest. Not sure yet. black blazers don't I let's try them both on the sleeves are the tiniest bit long for blazers you want them to sit right where your wrist flexes like right there I also I'm not sure I'm the biggest fan of how long this is again not terribly long it does have this cool it has like fabric variations right there let's try the second one I feel like this one fits better and it's classic it's basic basic black blazer and I think for that reason I'm gonna keep this one little black dress have to keep it I need to go through sweaters next so let's lift you up I just want to own a couple bags. This my father-in-law got from Iran. He's Iranian. I love it. I get compliments on it all the time. This is my farmer's market bag. We'll keep those. Miss Louie, I have one designer bag. One. I don't need any more. 
She's black. Oh, I have two black bags. All right, these were my spring clothes that I put up for the winter. What I see on the top is one of my prized possessions. Oh, love this so much. This is the first garment I ever self-drafted on my own. If you sew, you know that, you know, there are the big four commercial sewing pattern companies that make sewing patterns. And a sewing pattern is where you cut out pieces of paper that it's like a template for the pieces of fabric you need to cut out to make a garment. The problem with that though is you're always confined to the design of the sewing pattern. You don't get to design your own clothes. And I started teaching myself pattern design. This was the first thing I ever made, like, from my own head. It is a linen fully lined a-line dress with like a backless situation on the bodice i also made a video where i made this if you would like to watch that if you're curious but i absolutely love this dress i will have this forever ever in my life keep for now it's really cute it is linen and lined red skirt i have a little red tank top that i wear just with this and i love red on me so keep Ooh. I like this but I remember last summer I completely forgot I owned it I will keep for now I do like it but if I don't wear it this summer it's gotta go this is a wrap skirt which I really love linen keeping midi length skirt with a slit of course we keep I think I'm gonna let this go I thought it could be fun but me bye bye this is my farmers market skirt I love it very cute keep this is a romper it's very cute but it's kind of flimsy it's very difficult to get on for that reason i will let it go this is a wrap dress i got in austria i kind of am attached to it i'll keep it a black dress for summer what am i thinking i have a lot of black dresses for summer i'm realizing that this is one of my least favorites for that reason i will let it go a linen jumpsuit yes um a linen dress i remember not liking the way this fit very well Goodbye. This one I thought I didn't like that much, but I always get compliments when I wear it, and I think that's because my color is blue. Whoa! Y'all scared me. It has embroidery on it. It's kind of like hippy dippy ish, which is totally my vibe. I think I shall keep it because I do get a lot of compliments on it, so maybe it is my color. I have a t shirt dress from Tommy Hilfiger that I don't reach for a lot, but it's really cute. It's dark. I have too much dark stuff for summer. Hmm, I don't know. I'm gonna let this go. I don't reach for it a whole lot. I liked the idea of it. Big long blue dress, spaghetti straps. Yes, my color. Oh, I love this. Okay, stay with me. It looks kind of goofy. It's this maxi length dress with block printing on it. And it has like an overlaid crepe. I don't know what this type of fabric is called. It's like a see-through overlay with the same block print on it. It's really cute. I like it a lot. Keep. I'm gonna sound real mean here, but this is a t-shirt dress and it screams like the live, laugh, love type of vibe. <laughs> Goodbye. Linen shift dress, white, keep. See, I don't even know what this is. I didn't remember. So she's got to go. Blue linen long dress that I thought I would tailor and I never got to it. It is a vintage label though. So I, I think I'm gonna try to sell this because linen sells very well. I love this thing so much. This, okay, can you tell how, how excited I am for summer clothes? I hate winter clothes, hit them. I feel like you cannot dress cute in the winter. You just have to bundle up with ugly colors. This is a little vintage jumper with big old patch pockets in the front. So cute. Keep. Button up little mini skirt. I think I like it. I shall keep. One of my favorite things too. This is a vintage romper. Love it. Keep. Another wrap skirt. Keep. <laughs> these pants. I don't know what it is with these pants. They're always at like Marshalls and TJ Maxx. But men are drawn to these pants. They say your butt looks real good in them. <laughs> They are really comfy, and they're high-waisted. Cute with a basic white tank top. I'll keep them. I made myself some linen pink shorts with my leftover linen fabric from that dress. Love, keep. High-waisted blue shorts. Vintage, keep. I'm never gonna wear this. I bought it because it's a like a flowy tan fabric. I thought it looked kind of like bohemian for spring, but I don't reach for it. Um, goodbye. Then I have my dance stuff, Look at my ballet shoes. I did dance for a very, very, very long time, like over 20 years. This is nostalgic, so I need to find a place for this to go. My cats are very confused. Look at my room, look at my room. Oh my gosh, what have I got myself into? I'm getting overwhelmed. 
Well, I guess since this box is here, I'll put all the stuff I'm giving away in here. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, in. Oh my god. I don't need this much stuff. I'm not buying anything ever again. That's my not sure, that's my sell, that's my need to put away somewhere where I can't get to it easily because I don't need to access it a lot. That is keep, so I should consolidate with that and then pick up all that stuff and we can start organizing. I've cleaned out my luggage, I've put away my laundry, I just put it in here for now. So this is my complete inventory as far as what needs to hang up and I wanna start organizing it. I have these drawers down here and I would like to be able to put some sort of basket on top of them to store stuff. So what needs to happen is the shorter things need to be in the middle so that there is clearance above those drawers and then the longer things can hang on the side. So I think I see what's going to happen here. Pants are gonna go over there, dresses over here on either side. So let's just go ahead and do that. All right, so we have hoodies, flannel, skirts, pants, cardigans. Tanks I put here because they're short. See how I have that clearance underneath now? I'm going to move my long sleeves towards inside here since we're transitioning to spring. I won't be reaching for them as much. Those are all dresses over there. Okay, you guys. Um... Sorry, the camera died, so while it was charging, I just went ahead and finished up. Um, but let me walk you through what's going on here. Um, at the top, uh, those are my mom's sweaters that I don't wear a lot, but I just, I want to keep them because they were from my mom. And these three rows are sweaters I wear often, so they will live there. These are my clothes for doing dirty work around the house, home renovation stuff, hats, bags, dance wear, beanies and gloves that I don't need. Those are winter things, so they'll come down later. Tank tops. Hoodies, flannel, pants, skirts, cardigans, and then back here are those, uh, the minimal amount of, like, quote, professional clothes I need. Little black dress, black pencil skirt. I've got some shorts, t-shirts, slash collared short sleeves, long sleeves, dresses, and then back there are sentimental things, like things I've sewed that I don't want to reach for that often. Some shoes, boots. I don't own a lot of shoes. The shoes I mostly wear are sitting at the front door. I really don't own a lot. Workout tops, sports bras are just jumbled over there. Um, these are workout bottoms. I just layered my sweat type materials. So like these are sweat shorts, sweat pants. I just laid them on top. I don't like to, to roll them up like that. So I just lay them on top. Uh, sleepwear's in there, that's boring. Scarves, shapewear and tights, slips, camisoles. I just use cardboard as a divider, whatever, it works. Um, swimsuits and belts. I didn't ever show you guys my dresser in my bathroom. So I have hair stuff up here, like brushes and stuff like that. I have underwear, we'll skip that. You do not need to see that. Socks, graphic tees that I don't mind folding. I'm kind of particular about what I hang versus what I fold. I like to hang most of my clothes. I don't feel the need to hang these. And then down here I have denim and then here's some more shorts. So the shorts you saw in the closet aren't all the shorts I own, they're just the ones I want to hang up. And then this is everything I'm going to get rid of. So I hope this was satisfying for you. I love watching declutter videos. It makes me motivated to do it myself. That's why I started today. I've been watching a lot of it um, to get ideas for what to do for my own closet. So I hope this motivated you to do your decluttering and do your spring cleaning this year. And with that being said, friendly reminder, if you liked this video or you found it entertaining, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe wherever you can. It helps my channel out. And with that being said, I will see you guys with the